This is a quick demonstration of how to set up your aircraft for an ILS approach and can be used with um, FS Flying School. Now at the moment uh, we've got this uh, Cessna 172 on the ground at uh, Chicago O'Hare. Uh, doesn't really matter where you are when you do this, you need to be doing it though uh, before you approach the runway that you're going to land at. Um, what we need to know is we need to know the ILS frequency of the destination runway and we also need to know its exact heading. We need to know both these things in order to be able to tune uh, the nav radio correctly to the ILS signal and also to be able to set the OBS on nav 1 to the uh, runway heading. Uh, now one way to get this information in Flight Simulator is to simply go to the map, so I'll hit Alt W M, which will take us to the map, and that shows us where we are right now. And if I can get some indicators on the screen here, so we're here at uh, Chicago, and what we're going to do is we're going to be flying north, and we're going to head up. Uh, Let's see here, we're going to, if I can click without clicking on a target, okay, we're going to head up north here to Green Bay, and we're going to land at Green Bay using um, this runway right here, and if we zoom in slightly, uh, we can just scroll over slightly here, uh, this is in uh, Flight Simulator 2004, if I just hover the mouse over the ILS uh, indicator there on the map. Okay, we can see that if we're coming in from this direction and we're going to land at this runway here, we just float that over there and we can see that um, this is uh, runway uh, 06 and we've got ILS at the runway. The uh, runway, the actual runway heading is 62 and the frequency for the ILS is 109.5. So from this we need to remember it's runway 6, exact heading is 62, ILS 109.5. Let's see if I can remember that. 62, 109.5. Okay. So we'll get out of that. And from here I have to go and set the NAV1 frequency. So I'll pull up the radio by pressing Shift 2 and then we need to set uh, NAV1 uh, to 109.5 so we can change the standby over here 109.5 like that and then flip the standby to make it the current uh, setting. You can see up here that um, FS Flying School was showing us what that equates to, but that is based on where we are at the moment. It will change as we fly through different ILS signals. Now let's make sure that we pick the right right one there, 109.5. Let's get the map up again. And again, as we scroll to the top of the screen, we can see that there's the runway right there, and it's 109.5. The heading is 62. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set the heading now. I'll put the radio away by pressing Shift 2. And we're going to set the heading of 62 using the OBS or the Omni Bearing Selector on Nav 1. So that's this guy right here. So we need to set it to 62. So I'm going to scroll this around to the approximate number right there. So that looks like that's about 6 right there, and I'll click it twice more to hopefully get it to 6.2 on this, but we can check this with FS Flying School, we can check this by pressing Control shift d and then we will see at the top of the screen here it shows us exactly what NAV1 OBS is set to. NAV1 OBS is set to 6.2. So we know exactly what it's set to at the moment. So we've set up the NAV1 uh, radio frequency for the ILS at the destination runway and we've also set up the heading on the uh, NAV1 OBS to uh, 62 which is uh, the 
precise heading of the runway in question. Now, of course, you would normally uh, be doing this in the air as you came in to approach uh, your uh, destination. Uh, I did it here whilst we were parked on the ground uh, because uh, things are uh, a little less complicated, as it were, in order to talk you through this. Uh, I didn't, need, didn't want to have to talk you through it and uh, fly the plane at the same time. Um, if you were going on a very short hop, you could indeed set this on the ground before you took off. Uh, if you were not going to be using NAV1 for any other purpose uh, before uh, approaching your uh, destination. But of course, uh, on, a, on a trip of any length, you're probably going to be using NAV1 uh, tuned to other uh, NAV aids along the uh, course of the trip. And that's what you need to do, anyway, to uh, pick up the ILS signal and also to have the OBS set correctly, which is necessary in FS Flying School for the uh, instructor to be able to uh, fully evaluate your approach and your landing at the uh, destination airport. And that's all for now. Thanks.